Right guys, today we're going to make some prime tools out of these fillers that I've bought from uh, Poundland. You can buy them at any DIY store. And let me just show you what I've made before out of these same ones. Hang on, there we go. This one's a bit too wide for my liking. So the one I usually use is this one. This one's like a right size and it's easy to hold as well. So there's another one that I made that is like a triangle. Where is it? Hang on, let me get that. Yeah, there we go. Let me get that in the shot. There we go. And this one I use a lot as well because this one's uh, you can put a bit more force into it when you're opening it. Right, let me find the tool that I used to make the shape out for the triangle. Uh, basically, it's one of these plastic ones. Then we got these other prying tools. The, these edges mainly break off very quickly. Let me get this in the other camera. Hang on, let me switch over to the other one. So I can show you the edges. As, there you go. As you can see, they're really thin and they break off very quickly. Here's some that I've broken off that I've used. There you go. This one's half broken off. So once you used it, I think they're like a one time tool. Uh, they're not expensive. But as you can see, you use it once and then you throw it away. Uh, there's another one that I've got that's basically chewed off completely because it's been used so many times so they're no good now so they're not going to even work well, on the metal ones at least you know you can get them where you want and the shape comes back to what it is let's try to make this one here and this one's I've been using for years and still the shape is really good on it but this one is a bit too wide I don't use that much uh, this one I bought from eBay and uh, as you can see it's a, a professional tool type and then still the edges I didn't like on that it's a bit thicker than the other ones but the edges aren't that good because once they get bent then you know you trying to get them back and all that as you can see here the edge is not that good now so and it's a bit thicker so you can't get into something thin so you know we're you push it in you make some marks on there with that one and that's the rounded side okay let's see what we can do oh, actually here's another one that I've made and this one I use a lot as well okay the other thing what you got to look at is when you're buying these uh, filling to uh, DIY tools they've got to be flexible and uh, I can't actually remember the name now what they're called so they're basically for filling in and all that kind of stuff doing fillers and all that kind of woodworking but make sure they're flexible and they spring back to their shape because if you get the ones that don't spring back to their shape you're gonna have a problem let me just find a marker and then we can make the shape on there right I'm going to use the little one the one I want to make the one I use a lot so I'm just going to mark it around all over here and then basically cut it from there and uh, let's get that started and then we'll see where we get to just making the outline all around, all around it just so we know where we have to cut okay well let me find a, something to make a straight line there uh, the ruler where are you yeah there we go hang on let me just make that there so we know where we're cutting as well uh, yeah there we go so we've got a rough out shape of it now and we'll try to uh, cut that with these pliers cutting pliers and let's see if this is going to do the job or not so it is designed for cutting metal so let's see what happens all right 
right, here we go. Yeah, that is a bit hard to cut, actually. No, it's not, not even cutting properly. Right, okay, that's no good. Let me try the straight side, see if it cuts the straight side. Yeah, it's cutting, but it's not as good as the way it should be. It's leaving, like, marks. Okay, let me try this old one. This one's is very old and it's quite good as well so let me see how good this cuts and yeah, this one's cutting better I think this is the one we want to use and get that side let's see how good that cuts that yeah that's doing fine actually so the old stuff is better than the new stuff okay so let's get all that out of the way and hang on shall we make the triangle one as well I think yeah I'll get that shape on there and then we can it's the same as this the other one so just use the metal one and just make the outline around it and then we'll cut that let me just check that again right at the bottom yeah that's that bit bit there right okay we got that and let me see if I can get that cut I think it's better not cutting too close to the line if you because we're gonna smoothen that out afterwards and if you and if you use the uh, get too close to the line then we might not be able to uh, like grind it down a bit more and let me just put this aside all right let's chuck that bit off uh, I'm, I'm gonna go basically cut that piece there is a bit too much on there and as you can see where that line is so I'm gonna try to let me just put the light on is that a better shot I'm getting too much reflection that's the trouble with these lights right okay let me just cut this bit off yeah that's doing fine and there we go we're going around the way we want it yeah that's good oh I think I cut too close to the line on that side and the shape has gone a bit funny on the edge but be careful of these cutting bits these ones you can you know hurt yourself with those they're gonna be really sharp so be very careful and all these bits that come off you just try to put them in one place let's get that shape rounded there yeah there we go okay that's we're roughly there what we want the shape let me do the other one as well let me just get close to the line okay so that little piece is left there right we've got a rough shape I think now so just keep all those pieces together so you know you don't want to be all over the floor or somewhere in your hand or something right I use this mini grinder and uh, it's from Parkside it's quite handy because it's you know you can put it anywhere in your workshop and it's got variable speeds on it so basically you've got a control on it that you can end this side bit here you got, can put a wire uh, well it's not a wire it's basically a let me just speed that up it's like a Dremel basically you've got this extension cable that you can plug into that okay let's grind this down be very careful because you don't want it coming out of your hand you got to hold it really tight because that can fling and hit you in the eye or something as well so just watch if you've got like um, pliers that clamp down onto these like I think they might be better to use those to hold it uh, I can't remember what the name is now those pliers they're the stainless steel type ones uh, grip pliers that's the ones and uh, if you get the grip pliers and hold it with that that might be a better option if you you're worried that it's going to come out of your hand 
because it will come out of your hand once it catches on the side of the stone and where we go let's get the shape what we want round that bit off a little bit on the sides that's it get this side a bit straighter and then it's coming along basically as you can see the shape is this I'm getting closer to the light let me just do this side here because that doesn't look straight I think that was that other cutter that made that plus when you're grinding this uh, you'll have these little edges flare up and you can feel them and they will not uh, they won't be smooth as well so you'll have these little edge coming off it so what you want to do that with that is just to grind that little bit off as well so you've got like a smooth surface so once I've done this I'm gonna smooth it off again just get that shape the way I want it thing is you can make whatever shape you want actually so you know yes yeah, I'm just that side is a bit too much hang on let me just get that in and it's coming along now it looks something like what we have the other one thing is you got to keep like grinding it to what you want it so just make sure once it's grinded that you haven't got those edges just when you put your thumb or fingers over it you'll uh, you know at the edges you'll see there's an edge on there so you want to just grind it off like that on all sides uh, or you can use the polish side uh, of the grinder to there's yeah that feels okay there's a little bit there so what I'm gonna do is gonna slow it down a bit and just get those edges so there's nothing it'll be all smooth up and that should have done the job and getting all the flares off I think this thing is moving a lot isn't it uh, okay so now you can't feel nothing hang on there's a little bit there so I'm just going to do that bit there yeah that's okay now yeah yeah that's feeling okay okay so we've got that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to see if I can get the shrink wrap that is one I used on the other one yeah that looks about the right size and that's the biggest one I've got anyway so let's see if I can get that in there okay so it's still a bit too big so I'm going to keep on grinding that down and just to get that sleeve on there so we can when we're holding it at least we've got some uh, place to hold it and it doesn't slip out of the hands yeah uh, yeah that you can see is a bit bigger than the other one uh, it's not a bad size actually so I'll just get it down to a little bit so the sleeve can get into it so I'm going to speed up the grinder a bit more so it does a quicker job yeah if you keep it too uh, for long on there you will see some burning on the metal as well so I'm just doing this as an example basically but if I was going to do it uh, make one again I'll basically take my time on it due to the video I don't want to make it too long and there you go it's gone a bit down let's try it now yeah it's nearly there yeah it's going on mm, yeah it's a bit tight hang on this got stuck now let me just get that out I think I need to grind it a bit more and then we'll try it again so let me just get a cloth and move all this dirt off that's come off the metals uh, it's not uh, I think it's better doing it somewhere like outside or somewhere like that you know and 
you don't get the dirt all over the place okay let's grind this now and try to get that sleeve back on it now these are quite good for taking off glue and all that kind of stuff even the stickers and all that and uh, I find them really handy to be honest and uh, you know you can make as many as you want out of these because we really, you didn't even use half of the one that that small one that we had the filling tool so let me just get this shape the thing is you can make them sharp or blunt whichever way you want them basically so if you want something sharp at the front and just sharpen it up in the way like a knife and then if you're taking stickers and all that kind of stuff off that would work out really good uh, there's a little bit of edges there let me just get those off here yeah okay yeah that's that's fine now let's try if we can get that on there now we have grinded a lot off yeah it's going on yeah that's a little bit more and that should do the job yeah that's fine that should do the job at least you know when you're holding it or pushing something in it's not going to be slipping uh, in your hand and that way that's fine all right okay that one's done this one's going to be a bit hard to do because of the shape yeah. this thing's not focusing is it let me get it on the other one yeah the as you can see this one's going to be a bit harder to do but I think I'm going to use the pliers or something like that to hold it otherwise that can slip and can damage uh, your fingers while you're holding it so you know it can give you a cut or something so let's do this hang on I'm out of the shot and I hang on let me do it there so I'm gonna go around like that in the corners and then keep moving it around and I think if you've got the adjustable pliers you know the grip pliers uh, because once they're gripped on they won't let go they're a bit better to work with because then that way at least you know it's not like this is slipping as you can see out of the hang on I've got my hand there again and let me just do that bit there there's rounding yeah there we go and just want to make it round it doesn't have to be perfect basically but you know the shape you want is basically rounded on the corners so that you can that you don't damage nothing if it's sharp let me just show you that on the other camera yeah if it's too sharp if it's a rounded uh, edge then you don't you could don't huh? it's you won't be able to damage anything but if it's like a, a sharp edge and yeah, when you push it in you could probably poke the plastic or even damage it so that's why I'm, I'm trying to make these rounded off I'm just trying to get close to the line as I can there we go let's get it all the way around and then we'll, what we'll do is smooth it off I think it might be even worth doing it at the end with a file you know if you're not really got it right where you want it just put it in a vise and uh, you can get closer to the line what you want and we're getting there we're getting near the line so there we go thing is the more time you take it to do it you're going to get a nice neat one out of it so you know I'm just rushing it at the moment just due to the video let's have a look if that's the same shape now well we're nearly there it's got a little bit of the edge there I think I want to put that on there and just do it with it if I can. Yeah, it's a bit hard to hold that piece on there. So, all right, okay. Let's have a little look now and see. Yeah, we got those edges. I'll try to round them off. Got that bit that's sticking out a bit. Yeah, that's a bit better yeah we're nearly there 
I'm just getting carried away with this and uh, I'm not even seeing if it's, this is coming off camera all right we're nearly there anyway so I'm doing it on the other side now just to smoothen it out so that way we don't have those edges again so yeah it's like a uh, polishing side on that side and just get all those edges off and cleaned off so you don't have any sharp thing so it doesn't let me get all this rubbish off Right, there you go and that's well still not completely there but you know you, you can always round it off if you want to be really picky and then you know you can make it really nice and like like the other one came out really good the one I've done before so let me just see if I can get this one as well the same Well, that's nearly there anyway so you know hang on let's, let me just do that bit uh, okay okay let's shut that off okay so what I'm gonna do is see if I can find something that we can open with these so for an example so see how these work you can see the edge is okay and everything is the camera gonna pick it up oh, I hate this camera uh, sometimes it picks it up sometimes it doesn't okay let me find something that we can try to open okay I've got this camera basically uh, it's like a thin edging on around it so I'm gonna try to open this let me try that camera no that's no good either I think let me go back to the other camera yeah this one is a bit better you can see a bit more uh, if I can get the right in the shot yeah there we go okay so as you can see the we don't know where the screws are and all that I'm gonna try to push it in here because these are really thin and you can get them in easily as you can see there we've in now and just we start prying as long as we get all of the connections out we're okay then that way at least you know you can push it back in again let me see this bit yep and we're nearly there I'm going off right there we go and it's come off as you can see we got all the collect connections there so not much damage there so whenever to take the screws out the screws are underneath there on this let me just get this a bit more focused in there we go and now this we got all the pins there on there so that way we can get everything back on easily so let's try putting that back on sometimes you'll use a thicker tool and you'll break a lot of the connections and let's come on there we go and uh, that way you know there's no damage no lines no nothing and we've just put that back on it again as well so that's that so I hope you enjoyed that and you can make whatever shapes you want basically out of these things and uh, you can make them neater I've just done a quick job and even the taking glue off and all that kind of stuff is they're really good you can make it sharp or dull it's up to you whichever way you want to do it